Good day, welcome to Martinez Design and the continuation of our four bedroom bungalow that we were designing for a while now. Sorry for a little break. So, in this place, we are going to develop this elevation and design this column and add more colors and aesthetic value to most of the elevation. So, you go to your level one. From the level one, we were able to do this in the last uh tutorial but now we are going to hide them because we don't need them here so hide and let the whole category be like this so the next thing we do is that you go back to you look at the front uh wall i want to change the color of this particular tool. so now i don't i don't want it to reach the end so from here halfway so what you do is split the wall into two click on the splitting press escape then select this and select this particular one so now you change this i did the type then duplicate this wall so now it's another wall of generic 200 mm part, uh, part 4 say okay edit it and then change the structural color so this is the color that i come with this so you duplicate this one as as well you can rename it if you want to name it blue or whatever you want to call it because i want to use blue color according to what the particular image you have been working on so you come to appearance here and expand this as well come to appearance and exchange this then you go to your your work painting or copy anyone you feel like okay you are doing gross so expand this one so now you do what i'm going to use here so I prefer this cyan color. So as I choose that one, then I close it down. So I can decide to edit the color from here, make it more darker. So that is beautiful. Then you click OK and same time click OK. The same time click OK. So that is done. What happened? Click OK on that level. So you go to elevation and go and see what you've done, whether it works now. This is the color, your percent code that particular position so this is one so if you want to do this color now i want to use this particular color but i want to use it in an halfway method around this side understand i want to use it around this side but not to take the whole uh, essential aspect of it so how do i do that now what i do is that i go i select it now i go to level one so i create space similar see create similar so that three particular similar of the door but now i'm editing this one again i'll to edit this one and change it to five the fifth part and here i will just do the the re, the size to be reduced let's say i want to use 20 mm so i just want it to be something like like plastering thickness so i'm going to pick it here now and let it flow around here good so as i do that i select this and i reduce the height to something like 2500 good so i align it to this wall then i'll go to elevation to go and feel what i've done so go to south so this is the wall i created so it's still high for me so i reduce it and i let it be level I see a line and line. so I have it to be level with that. So select this one now and you see edit the profile. So I'm going to create a profile around this particular window. Good so you break it into then allow it to flow with this then click ok so the the shape of the of everything is coming out one after the other so as you have done with this one now so you can decide to say okay i want to move this and say let's um, copy they copy it in one part it's going to be but does not matter so just say edit profile 
as you edit the profile now what you need to do is to just uh, move this one move this to say move move them up good so you change this one to to move up so remove the constraint align it to the upper point and the position to say finish what is it saying so here you change the call duplicate it and say duplicate make it the sixth the sixth word you have duplicated there then you change the material from here click here and say duplicate the material so come here use the graphics let my, my graphics be used so go to the ninth one as well change the graphics let them be using graphics so come to the tenth one then you rename you change the appearance from here yeah i want to use siding click so i'm using siding um let me use a clapboard smooth mm -hmm. so i want to open on that so i'm great i'm good to go so you see so i have two layers of a door over one another i mean wall over one another so now i can continue with this and say go to level one so at that level one now i want to create similar things so you look at the level that the window the door is assisting on you do the same thing here so you align to meet up good so you go to your elevation as well you select this door i mean this wall move it up so that the costume you know you have you have an issue with the one you have done on the ground so you move it up select it here drag this costume so you drag it as much as possible so you do that and then you create you go to your level one and you see create similar thing again so you create similar like that way so now you go back to your west elevation that is where you're going to see those things so this is what you have been created so if anything you do here are not showing do not bother maybe there is conflict among this uh, particular joint because of what this one is so overlay. so you drag it and you drag it mm, you drink bring this one down something is having issue okay change it to level change it to material five once you show the other uh -huh. now you need to drag it down drag it down so as you have done with this just edit it and then give the window space the ray box and do the same thing here then click ok so that is it so you now can I check all of them around your 3d and see what you've done and just check the use space okay this is okay for you so go to your you can now go to level one and align this or this thing you created around it so you see there good understanding fine and aware and good this is what you are able to do so now let us work on this uh, the columns and the columns i want to space things into two edits 
So the first thing I do is that I want to copy this into one, press enter. So now I did this one and increase the, the, the base. So increase it by let's say um, 150. without copy so you just expand it by force so you use forceful expansion on this click ok then go to elevation just drag it down uh -huh. so be helpful so now this one I want to work on it by editing it go to level 1 so what I do here is that I, I will delete this one then just concentrate on this alone just one or two things to adjust like i'm making it in a double a double column space so i click that and i know it no sorry on the side all, all together so good so i'm doing this and similar in general good so here yeah, now I change the category. I'm putting my own personal duplicates. So here graphics appearance, double click on it and then change it here. I'm assigning the one that's new ceramic. I'm going to use polyin, then ice white. Good for me. So click OK and click OK. So go to elevation and see what you've done. Good. So you have double class of this so as you have done with this one now you can decide to say okay copy one let's say one enter escape so you drag it up so edit this now edit so open so now just increase it a bit like a 50 is too much let's say like 40 mm -hmm. so without copy so finish it so go back to the elevation and here you change this category of material and let it be white as well so you expect that to be so you increase this a little bit so that it go above and this one you, you go again to, really, to remain small tiny so you are done with that you can now copy this one and say copy from me remove the cost tray and take it up good so that you start you start from the upper side so it is not over yet so clean here then you use war save into project go to level one and select the wall and you say create similar so at that junction you can now say wall then you change the height from here by typing the height of let's say 2300 should be above then you reduce that from here to 700 so that you meet up with the height of the head height so if here now you draw this around here it's not feasible you know bother so you click here, then you, you join it up there, then you look at it from 3D, whether what you have created, this is the wall you have done, so which is okay for you, they are all in place that they're supposed to be. So that is what you do in that place. So now you can now decide to walk around a little bit like, okay, creating to let it go there and do something interesting. So this is the wall below that you have created you can hide this category if you don't want to see them again at this place so it led for you so but now we want to work on the other side now click on this one so what we use we are using this uh, this sweep that is the concrete pressure of that so copy it and paste it move it down It. So, so move it down now. The, the next thing to do is that you edit it. 
click on it and say edit sweep at the edit sweep now you say select and uh, this and uh, if you call of me what to work on so you select any area you click that okay it's okay for you so where are you seeing it i'm seeing another side so this is where i want to work on so it's there where it's supposed to be so delete this and decide to do your own pattern design from the profile so i'm creating this so one so i'm copying this one no i'm reducing let me reduce it it's too bogus so i'm reducing it so i'll copy it as many as i want so copy so if i have to do to do elevation it takes time because it's the one that brings the whole beauty of your building across to you so revit gives you the opportunity of doing it the way you want so depends the more you work on it the more beautiful your design looks so you click here and that's the finished part you can see and the, the elevation start getting busy and get busy and get busy so you click finish so as you are done with that now you can now go to your 3d and go around and see what you've done so that is it now you can set your camera and say okay you want to see the way you want so go to view and pick camera from 3d and set it and just pick from any angle and see what you've done whether it's accurate fine so here is what to do we have never been able to set camera we're going to set camera here but this is just an example for you so you can get realistic and see whether this is accurate fine so this is what you have created so if any adjustments you want to do you can still work on it so elevation continues to be more looking beautiful so thanks for watching this one so if you have not subscribed to our channel for once please as possible subscribe to this channel watch us the way we did everything from the beginning same time learn and continue to improve your knowledge if our 